hello guys we are back again this time we are covering uh, the topic of networking in aws so the th theory part of network is already been covered uh, uh, for this you need to watch my previous tutorial for basics of theory of aws networking and in this uh, tutorial i will be covering what is vpc how to configure vpc subnet route table internet gateways and what are security groups so if i am having a big network and i want to isolate my network within it then it is called virtual private cloud which is vpc and vpc we will start configuring so creating a vpc is very simple you just need to tag your vpc i am configuring for oregon my vpc and i have already assumed this cidr for my new vpc and tenancy will be default so i have created this vpc with 172.16.0.0 name uh, cidr which i have assumed so now when i have created the vpc i will be creating subnets so subnets are the isolated blocks within the vpc for administration reason you can have different subnets for backup flow for data flow for application for databases so i will be creating four subnets the first will be oregon underscore backup underscore flow so i have given the reference for i have used this class for that i am using oregon my vpc for for this backup flow so this vpc will be having a subnet that is oregon backup underscore flow now i will be creating another subnet which is oregon underscore data underscore flow it will also be in my organ my vpc i have selected one a for it it is it it will be more recommended to select the different availability zones for different subnets so that we can maintain a high availability or redundancy in our subnets so now i will be creating organ underscore application underscore flow which i will be creating in 1d and i am using this cidr block for it oh, i think there shouldn't be a gap and last but not the least i will be creating the subnet which is which is for database i will be putting that into availability zone c So this is how I have created four subnets which I can use for different functions one for data flow, one for backup, one for application and one for uh, database so I have created four subnets, I have created VPC now I will be creating an internet gateway before configuring internet gateway we should know what is internet gateway internet gateway is the gateway which will connect your vpc with your internet right so i am creating the gateway oregon underscore internet gateway so this is how our internet gateway works but this is still in detached state so i am attaching my internet gateway to my newly created vpc 
so i have now the internet gateway which is tagged as oregon internet gateway which is attached to my new vpc now i will be creating the routes for it so route is first uh, first we should know what is route so a network networking i will always know what is route so routing table is who all ips are allowed through and pro my internet gateway to my internet which we will be using the local ip address so for this route we will be editing this we will be adding the route we will be adding the new internet gateway we will be adding 0.0.0.0 whole range and we will be saving it so now it will be using our internet gateway oregon so we will be adding oregon underscore route so till now we have created a vpc then we have created a subnet then we defined an internet gateway then we have created a route table for our internet gateway now we will be associating the subnets with this internet gateway so as you know these all are associated with my internet gateway so we have associated the subnets with our internet gateway so when we will be using the specific subnet it will be using our specific routing table which is connected to our new vpc through the defined internet gateway so now i will be discussing with you what are security groups so security groups are like virtual firewalls we can define what type of ports and what type of services are open in each security group so i will try to first i will be marking them do not use do not use so now i will be creating a security group i will be taking organ underscore it may be for backup underscore flow underscore sg right for backup segment yes create so now i'm creating a security group in which i will try to define the inbound rules in which i will be allowing all traffic from all ports from all source mm. which will be security group which which will be using this subnet as a security group and or i can also specify the ip range which i have used for uh, one minute i need to go back and to check what i have assigned with my backup ip range so it is 172.16.0.24 so just go to that security group add it all traffic all all just give this ip range so this i have saved so for outbound rules i can ping to any ip for inbound only coming from this source you need to allow all protocols and all range so i will be joining one more security group so that we can be more clear organ underscore database again i'm saying everybody has their own way of configuring the network this is one way i'm just showing there may be different ways of making your network secure so for databases i'm only i will only be allowing ssh access from my this subnet and it will be it 
if I'm using the or let let assume I'm using MySQL. So now these two connections, these two ports are open from this source for this security group for this. So in this way, I have tried to cover. I have created a VPC. In this VPC, I have subnets which are using the following right routing tables, and then I have Internet Gateway for our Oregon view and then we have security groups so these are the four things i just need to cover in my tutorial if you really like the tutorial please press like and if subscribe the subscribe your channel and please try to share these things these these may be basic things but these are very like these are these are very essential to be a good aws admin thanks and have a nice day